Hello everybody, in this video I will show to you how to do an image filters in frequency domain using the Butterwood filter. In this tutorial we will use Python and for the library mainly we will use uh, NumPy, also we will use OpenCV to open an image and Matplotlib to display our image result. In theory, if you want to apply an image filter in frequency domain, First, you need to transform your image from spatial domain to frequency domain using the Fourier transform. Next, you apply a filter by multiplying your image in frequency domain with a filter transfer function H. And finally, you take the inverse Fourier transform to get the filter's image in spatial domain. In this tutorial, our filter transfer function H is the Butterworth filter. There are two types of Butterworth filter, the Butterworth low pass filter and the Butterworth high pass filter. And similarly like the ideal filter and Gaussian filter, the Butterworth filter also has parameter D0 and D, where D is the radius from the center and D0 is the cutoff frequency from the center. A uh, Butterworth filter has one more parameter that is n, which is the order of the filter. And you can check this textbook to read more about the Butterwood filter. Here I have a uh, Rubik image, and if we apply a Butterwood uh, low pass filter, we will get the smoothing image. And if we apply a Butterwood high pass filter, we will end with a sharper image. Now I will briefly explain step by step the implementation of frequency domain filter using Butterwood filter in Python. The first step is to open your image and transform your image into frequency domain. In this example, I open the Rubik image using OpenCP function cpt.imread. Here, the second variable I set 0 to tell this function to read this image as a grayscale image. Next. We use numpy function np.fft.fft2 to transform the image to frequency domain. And we need to shift this low frequency from corner to the middle using numpy function np.fft.fft shift. And we will apply a filter to our variable app shift. The second step is to create the Butterworth filter. So on the left here is the Butterworth low pass filter in Python, and the right here is the Butterworth high pass filter. So the first step here is we need to get the variable m and n, which is the number of rows in column. We can use the dot shift method to get these two variables. And the next steps we create a variable h use np dot zeros variable h will be uh, our filter next we set the value d0 as 10 and n as 1 and you can change this uh, d0 with any positive number as well as this n and then using the for loop we calculate the value of d and we fill the value in variable h using the butterwood low pass filter and similarly we do the same process for the butterwood high pass filter we create a variable HPF, which is stand for the high pass filters using the np that zeros and then we set the value d0 as well as n and using the for loop we calculate the value of d and then use the butterwood high pass filter to fill the value in variable HPF. so these two images here is our butterwood filter image on the left is the butterwood low pass filter and this one is the butterwood high pass filter now we have our image in frequency domains and we have our butterwood filter and we apply this filter by multiplying our image in frequency domain with the Butterwood filter and then we get our filter image in frequency domain and before we take the inverse Fourier transform we need to return back the low frequency into the corner using the np.fft.iFFT shift and finally we take the inverse Fourier transform and we calculate the absolute value to get our image in spatial domains so this image here is the result of Butterwood low pass filter and we can do the same process to get our image using the Butterwood high pass filter. Okay, uh, let us now move to Spider IDE and I will show you the full Python. This is the Spider IDE. The first step we need to do here is to import the libraries, which is the OpenCV, NumPy, and Metroidlib.py plot. Okay. So the next step we import our image using the OpenCV function, cp2.imread. And if we can use the plt.imshow to display our image. Okay, so this one is our original image in special domain. So the next step, we transform our image into frequency domain 
and then we save the low frequency from the corner into the center okay let's run this two code all right so we got our fc variable which is the frequency dom our image in frequency domain and again this is an optional if you want to display your image in frequency domain you can use the plt.mshow function but you need to calculate the absolute value first and then take the log value because our variable f here is a complex number okay let's run this two code okay, and then this one all right so the next step is to create a butterwood low pass filter here is the same code as the one that I show in the presentation file. Alright, so we get our variable h, which is the our Butterworth Lopez filter. And again we can plot this variable h using the plt.imshow function. Okay, so this one is our Butterworth Lopez filter. Next, we filter our image by multiplying our f shift variable with variable h then we take the inverse shift to return the uh, low frequency from center to the corner and then we take the inverse Fourier transform and the absolute value to get our filter image back to the special domain okay let's run this three code and then we plot our filter image using the vlt.imshu Okay, so this is our filter image using the Butterwood low pass filter. And for the Butterwood high pass filter, we do the same process. Here we create the Butterwood high pass filter, which is we call it as HPF. Okay, next, if this is an optional, if you want to display the Butterwood high pass filter, we can use this VLT.M show. Okay, so this one is our Butterwood high pass filter. Next, we apply the filter by multiplying our f shape with our high pass filter, the Butterworth high pass filter, and then we take the inverse shift to return back the uh, low frequency from center to the corner, and then we take the inverse Fourier transform and we calculate the absolute value. Next, we display our final result. So this is the filter image using the Butterwood high pass filter. Okay, you can visit my GitHub repository to get the pattern code that I just show you. Uh, I put this my GitHub link on the description. And here you can copy this code to apply the Butterwood filter using your own image. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something useful from this video. See you on the next video.